Hello everyone and welcome to another Digimon card game booster box unboxing video. This time I'm going to be opening up my second double diamond booster box and if you hear flopping going around in the background it's just my dog flopping around on the floor uh, because he just got back from his walk and he's in a really good mood. So let's get this started. So I'm not sure what I want this time because last time I opened up the Alt Art uh, Pulsemon and that was basically all I wanted. So I don't know what I'm going to be opening up. I know that I'm missing about, well I know exactly I'm missing 20 cards from uh, the from this set. So hopefully we fill on some blanks and of course we have got the two box top of the cards here which I will put over here to be opened at the last at the last, at the end of the the video, as the last two openings, if that makes sense. Yes. Let's pretend I made words. And hopefully we do better than we did for the first bo uh, box opening, because I could not string, like, three words together. I could string two words together, could not string three words together. It was a bit too much. So let's uh, get this started. And once again, I have failed to cut it. There we are, using my fingers to just tear that last thread of uh, plastic. And here we go, let's get this started. So I've got an option card. I can't remember what numbers I'm missing. So I'm just gonna, I've already run out of room. I put one card down, there we are. But yeah, I don't remember what exactly cards I'm missing. I know I'm missing the non Altart Pulsemon and I know I'm missing the uh, Bonds of Courage and Bonds of Friendship. And I know I've got all the tamers for once. I usually don't get all the tamers in one opening, but uh, this is the last time I did, so that's exciting. And I'm missing a few option cards as well. And that's about it. And obviously there's the Omega Mon that is the Primo one, or the special Alt Art one, but that one is actually from the first booster, so it's, they put, like, the special card from... The, uh, the first booster as like a special, special, special one. And I think there's like a sale going on. Like not a sale, but there's a, that's an option card. Already messed up my piling situations. There's one that is going for about over, a th I think it's like 1,800 now online, which is just kind of surprising. I don't know. I feel like... I mean, I'm coming from Magic the Gathering, where all the expensive cards are expensive because they were only printed in, like, a certain set. And while there are expensive ones like special full arts, they're not, like, $1,000, they're, like, a few hundred. And the ones that are, like, a lot very, like, more expensive, they don't have any other versions printed. So this one actually did, it does. It has the one that's printed in the first booster box. So it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, I guess, expensive because it is very pretty. And that is kind of cool, but I do, don't want it. I mean, I'd, I'd kind of want it, but I wouldn't get it if, uh, if it was unique to this set. Like, I do want a complete set, and at the moment I'm more or less complete. I'm just missing a few of the secret rares. Uh, like Lucemon and one of the Chaosmon cards because they're just like about $70 each and I can't really justify that at the moment maybe at some point because it's just it's not for me building a deck or anything it's just because I like to have a full set and I'm trying to collect them all and that's and I kind of just adore the art on these cards like look at Tropiamon having a good time well actually she looks like she's dying but I, I, I like her. And then there's, of course, Mermixmon, who is kind of... I don't know, he's in a very, like, like rulerish pose. I, I, I love it. I love how all the purple cards really have a lot of, like, sexy demons. And it's not just sexy uh, lady demons. It's also sexy male demons. And I'm all about that equality. Like, yeah, have, have your big sexy Lilithmon, but give, give us some sexy uh, men too and I think that we've got that with Mermixmon over here so which is kind of nice ah, there we are 
watch me as I fail to open plastic boosters. Because even though I've got lots of space to ensure that I don't chop anything off, I, uh, I, I still manage to fail somehow. <gasps> Yay, that's one of the ones I was missing. I was missing uh, the, the, the this baby one. And I'll put this over here, and I'm going to actually put my tamer cards at the back here because there are less of them. And same with the baby cards, the Digitama cards can go over there. See, I've already, now I have 19 that I need to open. So I need uh, Pulsemon, the non-promo, or non-alt art, or, yeah, I'm running out of, yeah, I, I definitely did not cut that well enough. Oop, and I've just completely thrown it away. There we are. One day I'm not going to be paying attention, and I'm just going to, I'm, I'm not going to, like, do that little tap-tap to ensure the cards are at the bottom of the pack. And I'm just gonna slice through a card, like, and and that will be that that will be Omegamon, that will be me opening Omegamon, and uh, I'm going to make some space for myself because I'm struggling. There we are. You know that I'm already running out of space because I ran out of space in the first like, put, put I put one card down and I was running out of space. So yeah. Also, I love the art. Look, look at Bakomon, the little box, and look at Makemon in the background. Looks like, I, no, that's not, I thought that was an eye of like another Digimon, but no, it's just a spark from her eye, and there's Nyaromon, cute, cute cards. Also, I know, I know okay, but where, I, I just really want to highlight the cards that I didn't really mention, and I'd noticed it only when I was sorting the cards yesterday, but I think Serasmon is about to attack Eldoradimon, which is kind of cool, but uh, yeah, I just thought, I just thought I'd highlight that. And this is another card I was missing out on, Agumon. So that's 18 cards. That I need now, and I think I opened this last time. Yeah. Oh, I saw the funniest comment, and I mean, like, no shade at this person, but they were like, wow, uh, and this was on the uh, video I uploaded with Godramon's, uh, Patamon's evolution to Godramon, and they're like, wow, because I guess they didn't know that Godramon had been a Digimon since before Seraphimon, since like the late 90s, and they were like, wow, uh, these Digimon are really getting blasphemous with their names. What's next, Jesus? And like just a bunch of people just commented saying, "Yeah, we already have that. It's called Jessmon," and it was just, it was just really funny. Like, yeah, no shade to that person, but I, it was just a really comedic thing. And yeah, a lot of people didn't know Godramon existed because it was kind of niche. I, I'm fairly certain that it was only in the cards for the longest time, as in the original Digimon cards. And I don't think we'd even seen it animated before. And I don't think it's been in, in many virtual pets until recently either. So, yeah. Kind of cool. And I do love Godramon. Hey, there's one I don't ha didn't have before. And it's a secret! Yay! So we've got a secret rare from this set. So now I have, what's that, 17? Unless there's been another one that... I've opened in this episode that I just, because it's like a a card that I wasn't really paying much attention to, I just thought I already had, or I'm not sure, but I definitely was missing the secrets, so I've only got one more secret to open, and was definitely missing Agumon and Petty Meramon. So here we are. And I know I'm missing a few option cards, but I cannot know, I, I do not, I cannot know, that's, that's a sentence, I do not know which one I'm missing. I just know that I'm I'm missing like five option cards. See, so yeah, I'm so yes. I need to open seventeen cards, and Pulsemon is one of them. The bonds of courage and friendship are two of them, and I said Pulsemon. And the other secret is the other one, which I don't know who that is. Also, this art is just glorious. It kind of reminds me of the song Shiny from Moana, even though. Like, it's an octopus and not really a, like, he's, he's kind of, he's got crab parts, I think, but no, he's not actually a crab. But it, yeah, it just reminds me of that. And once again, my piles are getting confused. What a mood. And I love this art. I know I opened that, like, in the last video, but I love it. And this art, too. There's just, I, I could probably just replace all my commentary of me opening up these boxes with, I like Digimon. I like the art on these cards. I like Digimon. Hey, have you heard about virtual pets? 
by the way, Colin, by the way, Kazuna, by the way, Digimon, by the way, I like Digimon. I've got a lot of time for Digimon. By the way, Vital Bracelet, I like Vital Bracelet. That, that's basically what a lot of the commentary could just boil down to, is just me liking things. And I like liking things. And there's a lot of things that I like. And Digimon is most of them. Now, I like other things that aren't Digimon related. I like... I like my dog. He's not He's not a Digimon. Unless it's like, you know, sort of like a Mekumon, Tailmon situation. But he's, he's not. Or the, the Tamers movie. Uh, and I like... I like my job. Which is kind of cool that I like. I don't think I... No, I did. I did open that one. And I like my partner. He's pretty, so he's all right. And I like Gundramon, but that's a Digimon. Yeah, what else do I like? Po I like Pokemon. I like learning Japanese. I like various video games. And I guess Pokemon falls under that category. Uh, what else do I like? I'm just looking around my room for other things. I like exercising. That's pretty fun. I like getting endorphins. Makes me happy. Uh, what else do I like? I don't, yeah, look, another hot, uh, I like sexy hot bu bulk Digimon men, or and normal men, who are bulky Antmon, I like, it. that's also a Digimon. I like food. I like my neighbours, my neighbours are alright, I've met them, they're pretty cool. I've shown two of them my Digimon collection and they thought it was cool. And that's cool, I, I like that they think that. I agree with them. That's about it. Yeah, I, I like I like Digimon. <laughs> I don't think I opened that one. I mean, no, I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Bad memory. I know I've only opened one Wizardmon, and I opened that one. But yeah, I know I edited into the. Actually, I think white is its own color. Uh, I know I edited into the last video, but the. And I just sort of used my text words, but I'll use my actual words. The zero one here, I know I said, oh, maybe that's what the promos had, but I didn't pay attention to the fact that every single card in this booster set has the zero one there. And I asked around, and it actually means that this is released after the first year. So if they don't have anything there, it's released in the first year. So April 2020 to, I guess, March 2021 and then onwards it's zero one, and then next year it will be, I think I opened that one, yes, uh, next year it will be zero two to signify that it's in its second year, and uh, yeah, so, so that's something I didn't know, and I asked because as, when I started sorting these cards, I realised that they all had it, not just the promos. I don't know why I only just realised it when I was opening the promos. I was like, oh yes, this one has zero one. Clearly, even though I just saw hundreds of cards, 113, is that one set? Oh no, that's how many in that set. Yeah, a complete set is 113. Uh, so 24 times 6, uh, some amount. So yeah, hundreds. Yeah, that's definitely more than 100. Um, yeah, so d d even though I'd already just seen a hundred of them, I apparently did not notice that there was a zero one there. So yeah, I, I apologise, I was wrong, and yes, I did say it on the episode, but, I mean, I said in the episode, I mean, I edited it onto the screen in, in like, uh, a visual aid over the screen while I was pointing it out to say, hey, no, I'm wrong, but just in case you only listen to these for the commentary, which is... I guess kind of alright, like, it, I'm glad that the commentary is that interesting enough for people to do that, if people are doing that, but I just thought I'd say it, um, oh yeah, Madoki Benamon, another, there's so much great art in this. Uh, where's the blue part? There, right in front of me, there we are. But, uh, yeah, I, I just thought I'd say that actually verbally, oh, I don't think I have that one. Oh, it's Dinosmon! Does he do in the dumb face? Is he doing the Breath of Wyvern face? I honestly can't see. No, he's not. He's not doing that, uh... If I remember, I will edit the screenshot onto this... onto the screen right here. But in Frontier, when Dinosmon does his Breath of Wyvern, he kind of just opens his mouth and it's a really silly face. And when we covered Frontier on the podcast, it was like the funniest thing. We just posted it everywhere. And I think after that, it kind of caught on. 
Like, in the same way that once upon a time somebody was watching Zero Two and posted the the clip of Nice Friends Who Got There, Davis, and then it just became a thing. And I'm fairly certain that the same thing happened with uh, with Darnismon and Breath of Wyvern. But I'm, I'm not 100% because people obviously can also watch Frontier on their own accord and because it is hilarious, probably also have found that hilarious. But, yeah, it was just... I did not remember that he made that face, and then I watched it a few years ago, and I was just like, that is the funniest face I've seen in my life. And honestly, like, kind of disappointed that the Breath of Wyvern card doesn't have him doing that face, because I'm not an artist. But if I was, I don't think I had that one either. So I think I'm at 15, 15 or 16, depending on if I have that card already. But yeah, uh, if I, if I was an artist and I was hired to draw that card, I would 100% have it just open its mouth going, ah. like, th that is my promo card. Like, I know that they did a few special promo cards of with, with screenshots from the anime. I would just do the Breath of Wyvern face from Frontier, who's just opening his mouth. Ah. It is just, it is just really funny. It will probably always be funny to me. And I've started to put colors on the wrong piles because I was too distracted with Breath of Wine. And yes, so that's adorable. But yes, I, I just really like that, uh, that, that screen cap of uh, Dynasmon casting his Breath of Wyvern. It is, it is always funny to me. And there's Dynasmon, who is another card I don't have. So I think we've got, what's that now, 14 or 15, depending on if I have that option card. So that's so that's a lot of cards that I'm missing out on. Unless I've completely just miscounted, uh, which, let's be real, is entirely possible. Because I have like one brain cell, and as we've seen from this video, that brain cell is Digimon. Now I think the second last or the last is usually the one I get the whatever the alt art is. Your uh, compulsory alt art. And this one I can see does have a shiny one at the back. And it does, it's Smaimon, which is not an alt art I don't think, but because the alt art actually, and I really hope I open the alt art Mamemon, because it actually has all of the variations of Mamemon on it, unless I, unless I dreamt that, which is entirely possible. I know that, and I didn't. I was too excited to really point it out. But in the Pulsemon promo, they they all alt art rather. The art actually has all of Pulsemon's adult evolutions. So it has Namakemon, Boltmon, and I can't remember what the other ones are called. I only remember Namakemon because it's a pun on Namakemono, which means lazy person, which is the best. And I really hope we get more Pulsemon in the card game, just because I like Pulsemon. And we still haven't opened Pulsemon, by the way. Gobumon, and no, that was not the one with our alt art, so it must be in our last, last one. Unless we did open it, and I just wasn't paying attention, because I'm a silly poo pants. Let's see. And the last one. There we go. And no, no alt art. Am I? I must have missed the alt art. It must have been one of the, and, unless it was Dynasmon, which is extremely possible. I'd have to look at what the alt art alt arts are, but I don't recall there being an alt art there. I will, I will have to check, and then I will say, hey, it was this one. Of course, how obvious of it. Of course, it's this one. But uh, no, that's it. And now we go to the uh, box toppers, which I actually almost forgot about because I was distracted by the lack of alt art, or the lack of me noticing the alt art. Either way. Hey, we got Pulsemon's baby evolution. Adorable. It's Peepimon. And I'll put that over here because I keep my alt art separate. And now we'll do a snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. And it is Angelomon. And yeah, these ones feel very different to the other foily ones. Like, it's a different material. It feels like plasticier. 
It feels like the ones from the English set and the ones that came with the starter deck, the primer ones. So yeah, this is from the Booster Box 3, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, it's very shiny. I don't know why that it's significantly shinier than the other promos. But uh, yeah, that's it. I will go and see which one is the alt art, because it must have been here, unless they just didn't give me an alternate art, because they don't like me. They say, no, May does not deserve one in this box. But anyway, so thanks for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!